Alright, time for a Zack game. I will be playing against the Lee Sin here, which is definitely a bit sketch for me to uh, face initially at least. Um, there are some ways I can play to be a little bit safer, one of which is just starting topside clearing down, which is generally less invaded. Uh, also, I mean, just getting my scaling in is good regardless. I'm going to ward over here in case he goes for a super early invade, but my goal is also to play for a bolt and mid lane here, because I have a Malphite top lane, and anytime you have a tank top uh, that essentially does nothing, like, like an Orn, like a Malphite, you know, those types of champs that just want to chill, uh, you just simply clear away from them and start on topside. It's generally the best thing to do. So, yeah. Also, I mean, these three are very immobile champions, by the way, so they are super free ganks for me as well. Like, my E pretty much lands straight on target. As soon as their flesh is gone, that's all they have. You know what I mean? I need to let Malphite tank a hit or two for his uh, shield. Yo, red buff, can you aggress to me, please? Jesus. Uh, all you have to really remember for Zack's clear is just pick up your blobs when your W is on cooldown and you'll be fine after that. Like, that's the most important thing. As long as you do that, you will be okay. But you have to make sure that you do that because otherwise you'd lose too much damage. And just spam your W as frequently as possible is what it comes down to. It needs to be used as much as you can, as often as you can, and lower the cooldown as much as possible as well. Good. Full clear is the target on Zack because you need your levels, your E skills with the range or the levels. Uh, the range increases for every point you put into it. So you definitely want to have that sorted. It seems I'm going to get messed with, unfortunately. And apparently this is legal as well. So that's good. Didn't get anything. Interesting. That is quite annoying, I'm not going to lie. But it works, I guess. He, f I think he flashed too. Pretty sure he did. I'm gonna have to clean up the rest of these camps still. Make sure I just continue my clear now. Obviously it got a bit delayed there, but I saw a potential chance at a kill, so I went for it. He definitely would not have invaded my bot side. So I wasn't too afraid of, like, losing any camps either. If that was the case, then sure, but... Yeah. Some interesting aggression. Bot lane is not looking too plausible, but the mid lane gank is looking relatively doable soon. He just warded, like, bot side. I'm fairly... Actually, he might not have had the ward for that, if I think about it, because he obviously used it on my... Raptors. I might be able to go mid after this, but I need to finish my camps first, hit level 4 before I do any anything else right now. I'm already quite delayed because of the other mid lane attempt I did. I can go bot lane, sure. I don't think they've warded yet, it seems unlikely, based on their like previous movement placement, whatever you'd call it. Knock him back and then get him. Perfect. Lovely. Very nice. And now I'm just going to instantly move away. I need to recall as fast as possible not to lose anything here. This guy might even die. I suck at the game. That's painful. Uh, this. I'm so bad. I'm actually really, really bad there. That's my bad completely. Are you kidding? And I... Oh. I didn't think he would kill it, man. That's so sad. My flashes are ripped there. I mean, I should have hit my E in the first place. No, 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 no. I sad. That's a waste of my flash. I thought it was required, but he actually got the kill. I don't care about getting the kill. I just cared about the Varus actually dying, if you know what I mean. The wave should be pushing back, hopefully. 
Eh, it's not the best sequence ever now, is it? But again. Yeah, I wasted my topside cams, that's huge. I should have taken the back here, really, I think. I really should have. Because I think I lost too much to Lee Sin just now. Definitely my Raptors, hopefully not my Krugs. At least give me those, please. Ah, uh, it's so unfortunate, man. Yeah, I can't gank this either, it's not gonna happen. That sucks. Lee Sin took both of my leveled up camps, so I'm actually super far behind now. That's huge for him. I should have backed there. I definitely think, like, turning around for the Varus was a colossal error based on my camp respawn timer, and I still did it. So that is 100% on me. My camps were more important than anything there. And I miss made that mistake. Yeah, that's great and all for you, but uh, I'm doing my camps right now, my guy. I definitely think they could Drake here. I do think Boltman is very gankable because all their summoners are now gone, so... That does make for a nice opportunity, potentially. I could really use a snap right now. That's a nice opportunity for me to engage. Ezreal gets the kill. Perfect. Lovely. We take those, and now I just go mid. As fast as I can. I know Scuttle is here, but I need to rush for this. One E is enough to kill right now, and I just need to move. He's gonna probably greet for wave in some type of capacity, or he just dies, whatever. Let's Dragon. I mean, that mid laner just decided that he didn't want to live anymore. I don't know what else to say. It's kind of whatever, I guess. Not a big fan of Malf Malzahar like sticking mid here, but this is so depressing. Malzahar decided that he didn't want to participate in this dragon fight for whatever reason. And we might still get it. Please, 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 dragon! Don't reset fully. What the hell, man? Ah, oh, this is bad. I'm so dead here. I just have to reset Dragon now. It's it's so sad because, like... I got the Dragon. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely dead for this, I think, but... Oh, I'm not dead for this. Oh, that's, that's impressive. That's not going to be in the range, ever. I am very impressed that I did not die for that. I will say. Better take those. I got the dragon still. That's very lucky. I, I This entire play should not have happened if Malzar simply would have just moved for the dragon. It is quite literally that simple. I need to wait for my E here, by the way. All he had to do was just instantly show for it, and it would have been completely free dragon. But because he stuck at AFK in mid there, that actually became very, very close for no reason. Which was very scary. Alright, good, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna clear my topside camps here. This should put me back to max HP. Which might allow me to gank top lane, and if that doesn't happen, I'm just gonna recall and um, go for the bot lane play. Probably. Alright, before I continue with the rest of this video, I quickly wanted to mention that about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. And I am getting very close to 60k subscribers, we're almost there. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, it would be greatly appreciated. At, uh, if I could hit that before the next season start, that would be amazing. If you have subscribed, hitting the like button also helps greatly. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this one. What is... I'm so dead. Why is Lee Sin there, man? Are you serious? Okay, okay. That sucks. Can't fight him there, sadly. It is just... Very... I mean, I guess it's a smart choice, but... I don't know why he would make it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like, from, like, a general perspective, it seems pretty stupid. It's probably all of his camps are up as well, I would imagine. So he's gonna go for, like, a super flippy play. If, if I decided to do red before I did Raptor Stare, the play is just an unbelievable flip. That would have cost him everything. So it's like, I don't know why he would make that choice, right? Like, unless he had complete vision over me doing Raptors first. 
That's the only situation where that play is, like, relatively viable. I mean, obviously, it kind of worked for him, but, you know, I don't think it really should have. Yeah, they can have Herald. I don't really mind too much. I'm going to go for his bot side camps, I guess. I do have to recall relatively soon as well. We'll just be taking his camps, obviously, since we know he's top lane. He left all his bot side camps up, we also know that. But he just committed to it. Oh, you absolute maniac of a player. You killed the minion. Uh... He actually killed the minion that would have killed the guy. It's really, really sad. He should never have put the space aids on the minions right there. Never. That would have that was a big mistake. Because it prevented me from actually getting the knockback as you saw, which would have insta-killed their mid laner. I have to eat out of this decision, otherwise I got very assaulted. That sucks. That was very close. Very, very, very close. The matter of like two HP on that minion. That's all it was. Alright, let's get this, and I will not have the money for this, that is extremely sad. It's also not worth waiting for, I don't think, right now. Okay, interesting. I will go for Gromp and probably just go back mid. We have 49 seconds on Malzar ultimates, okay. That's something to note. I want to go back mid lane the moment Malzar has his ultimate back, so I can get a free kill. I absolutely want that. up some of these camps. At least in his top lane. I might have to go top. Is he dead? He is dead. Ah, lovely. I'm just gonna mute you. It's fine. That's okay. Can't get that I can't let that Herald get this bounce. I'm gonna let this Herald get this bounce at this rate. I don't mind. The, get, no, the, get, the kill doesn't matter to me. The matter, what matters to me is that they die for that. I, may die, but I, don't. I can't have the Malzar not go for the dragon right now. If he stays mid lane again, I'm going to be very... S Please don't do this. Like, not again. This is absolutely... Oh my god, this is so scary now. Because I might not make it now. Like I, yeah, it's over, man. Oh, come on. Oh, this is my mid laner AFK again. This is so depressing. Am I just going to commit to finishing the dragon? I guess I might be. I got it. It's fine. Whatever, man. I CBA with this Malzar. I really, really CBA. It's so depressing. That dragon should be completely free. All Malzar has to do is just walk down and help with it, because he has a lot of dragon damage as well with his void minions and stuff. But he just decides that it's just not something he wants to do, which is extremely sad. So I, just, I mean, I got the dragon, which I'm happy about, but it's just like, yeah, come on, man. Really? Did not have to be like that. It really didn't. I'm just gonna see if I actually no, I have to go bolt this lane, don't I? Oh. Wow, well played by Rakan. Beautiful play by Rakan. I'm gonna go top as fast as I can now. Or he just gets the solo kill? Question mark? At least let me get the assist with that smite right there. Thank you. Perfect. 
I smite for the assist in that situation. I, I'm very happy I got both dragons, but both of them are such a big flip with this mid laner. I hate mid laners like this. It's like, come on, man. You can lose two minions for a dragon. It's not that bad. You know what I mean? But that's the life of junglers, I suppose. It kind of keeps scaling. I have 7 out of 12 KP, which is beautiful, honestly. That's very, very good. Uh, I don't really want any of the kills either. Getting all the assists is perfectly fine with me, of course, because I am a tank. And as a tank, you genuinely want your damage healers to be able to do damage. And you're going to do quite good damage on Zac anyway, so it's not too big a deal. I need to clear out all these camps because I'm definitely behind in being able to get my stacks right now on my jungle item. And I need to finish those. I don't know if I get a sweet in time actually off this. I also see a situation on bot lane arising that... Okay, it's actually good. Yeah. My team is getting damaged. This is good. Not too bad. Yes. Do I get my sweet in time for this? That would be so nice if I get my smite upgrade off this. I need to finish my camps though, because I am a bit behind in XP and I see a bot lane problem right now as well. I'm gonna have to go bot quick, because I think Lee Sin's going to be here soon too. I'll be back up for my Ezreal right now. I didn't get to stand on them. It was so close. I would have I would have actually won that fight if I was able to pick up my double blob there. Because that would have healed me enough. It's okay though. Ah, it's damn. Kind of sucks. Very, very close. If I would have gotten my smite upgrade, I would have won that because of the shield. So if I would have gotten the sweet somewhere here, well I before I killed this camp, I would have won that as well. It's very close. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It happens. You know, sometimes you lose fights like that. I would have healed like 300 or something if I picked up both blobs there. It would have been beautiful. Oh well. Hitting level 11 soon. Just one more camp, which also gives me my smite upgrade, I think. So that should be good. Herald there. It's fine. I definitely want this dragon. And I'm just going to pray once again that Malzar plays the game. This time. If the AFK is another dragon, I think I'll be extremely annoyed. This this guy is a very painful build for me, actually, as well. He has Blade of the Rune King, Gwinsus, like, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna need some good armor for that. Just get this mid wave. I will not be able to kill Varus at any point, I think, because of this build. Like, his percentage max HP damage is just too high. Bad kick that we take those. Are you absolutely joking he doesn't die off that? Come on, man. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mal Malphite, for finishing that off. I appreciate that. Good job. Ah, dude, I like I had so much CC lock on him. But, like, he, he really played that very patient as well. He did not try to, like hit me or anything like they he did not get turret aggro from anything but like he desperately tried to hit me with an ability because i did give him a little bit of space for that but you know because if he gets turret aggro there he absolutely dies look at how much damage malls are on this by the way like it's actually kind of crazy hit this and I hit him on the ward so the cc lock him there and he's dead good the auto attack obviously works on anything Together, 
I don't have to kill because I don't need it. I don't care. Okay, this might be me very dead. That was a very, very beautiful combo from the Huey right there. I have to respect that. Beautiful combo. It's a lot of magic damage. They have a lot of HP shredding. I have an armor item here. I'm going to go Spirit Visage first because it also provides me with additional healing. So I'll go Spirit Visage uh, into Thorn Mill, maybe. Yeah, something like that. It's okay. It was a very clean combo. That, that combo right there just absolutely obliterated us. Spirit Visage gives me healing increase and then should be good afterwards. This guy needs some magic resist badly too, because otherwise he's going to get blown up by their uh, mid laner. Yeah, they are doing Baron, obviously. We're trying to get here as quick as I can. Don't know if I can make it, though. Can I make this? Please be up plant. I Yeah, that sucks. together and then CC. Thank you, it is all good. I'm just dead. Yeah, okay. It's okay. I mean, my death there for three of them is not too bad. I don't think I could have ran up here. I got caught up, cut off at this point. I think it's okay. Probably shouldn't have flashed. Maybe. That's a good kill. Should be a good kill. And it should be a good kill as well. Oh, Malphite really needs some magic resist. Oh, that's death. Some magic resist is needed, Mr. Malphite. God. He is, he is getting hurt significantly by magic damage right now. <laughs> I mean, the overall situation there is not too bad, I think. They don't have the greatest amount of barons left. It's okay. And, uh, I mean, we scale extremely well. Our team comp late game is going to be nearly impossible for them to kill. Because we have two colossal engaged tanks. So it's like, you know, try dealing with that as their team comp. Like, it's going to be really hard for them. The more items we get, the more immortal we get, the more impossible it gets for them to play the game. I have an extra smite, so I'm just not going to risk anything and get the XP that I desperately need. Come on, Malphite, you got those? I got those, maybe. It's fine. CC locked them together. It's all good. Wish for mid turret. I'll wait for anyone to show up so I can eat them. Ah, the inhibitor is not up for me to kill that guy. Can you hit the turret, please? We should be able to tank this, no worries. Good. It's fine. That's gonna do a little bit of damage, but not too big of a deal. Is the red buff still here? And it's not. Do I have enough money? I don't. That sucks. Uh, I could just decide not to back, I guess. Because I don't necessarily have much to purchase. Might as well get my experience in here for now. Get level 14 before the Drake spawns type of deal. Cannot afford my spirit visits, you know, so. It should be okay. I don't think they can really do the dragon themselves. That might be required for me to react to. I think I have to hold this angle for now. There's the Yone. Oh, 
I think I win this one if you want. I don't think he beats me, but maybe he does. Nah, okay, I have passive. He's, he, he should be dead here. My Sunfire would have killed him if he tried to kill my Blob, so I don't think he would have ever done anything there. I, I wanted to hold this angle because I saw the Yone here, and if he walks up in this direction, um, he's going to try to flank my team with a really good ultimate, right? And I want to prevent that from happening, so I'm just going to fully engage the fight with him. And I'm not too worried about my team because of the team comp we have. We have a Malphite that has a massive engage from line as well as me. So it's like one of us has to do it, right? And if Malphite is there, it's completely free. So as long as I prevent this guy from looping be behind my team and getting like an insane Yone ultimate off, I think that's a very good fight situation. So that's why I played and why I held the angle here to see if he would walk like this or maybe like this. And in both situations, I could react with Zach E for that to be fine. Just a bit of like map awareness as a tank type of situation. I need to really get some XP. Levels are important. I want to group with my team as much as possible as well. Like I'm close enough now to where it's okay. Should be able to finish the turret here. I'll go for it. It's a free turret. Some good money. I want to push this wave in here as well as, mu as much as I can for the... Uh, Baron spawn that the wave is pushed in more. I'm gonna have to rotate quickly, I think. That's a TP used. Can hit this on the ward. I'm gonna try to defend my team, bounce on him real quick, and then bounce ahead of this guy. Hit him with the Q, walk to the minion, CC him into the minion. Finish him off. And then we should just Baron here, maybe. Alright, we just end the game, it seems. Yeah, good. Like, I, I create space for my team. They, they're they allowed to do whatever they want. They have to, they would have to walk towards, like, a Zac with the ult active. They want to do something in that fight situation. And, I mean, I just, yeah, finish off from there. It's all good. Well, if I can tank this. He did build a magic resist item. Alright, uh, last two items here. I would have gone a thorn mill, and then I sell my uh, dark seal that I had here for a stone plate, and that would be full build. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like button below. Helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well, and I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 17.5k damage, which is respectable. I mean, obviously, I'm a tank. I'm not expecting to out DPS an Ezreal or anything like that. It's completely fine. So uh, it's uh, definitely not a bad amount of damage, you know. True damage at 600. Doesn't do much anymore these days. Objective damage at 24.3k, which is just okay. A lot of these objectives were very, very scary, though, because of Malphite, or Malphite, Malzahar, sorry, just being completely AFK mid for, like, a lot of those early dragons, which got very scary, but I still managed to get them somehow, so that was really good. Don't ask me how that's done, but, yeah. He has good damage because of Rift Herald. Uh, he got both, I believe, which is, like, 22k damage to objectives. So that's most of his damage here, and the Baron damage at the end there as well, right? Healing done at 56.1k healing. That's like a colossal amount of healing right there. Very good. Damage taken at 42.2, which is by far the most as well. This is what we want to see, right? These are the big tank stats, the big things you want to see. Uh, so very good. We have self-mitigated at another 61k. So I, I took tremendous amount of damage for my team. Like 103 right there. Beautiful. So my damage is respectable, but the damage taken is absolutely beautiful, and that's what you want to see. Gold earned at 11.5, and then for the runes, Aftershock dealt 980 damage mitigated, about 1300. Font of Life for 1100 healing towards my team, Conditioning for extra resistances, Revitalize for 4300 bonus healing, 
and 309 bonus shielding. The bonus shielding would be more effective later on if you pick up the stone plate as well. The stone plate will give you a good amount of shielding, or if you just have teammates that provide shielding for you, that would work too. But uh, that, that's the option there. And then we have magical food where not to have to buy boots and then just cosmic insight for some extra CDR essentially. So yeah. Uh, last two items here would have been a thorn mill and stone plate to finish it off in this game. Uh, it's also generally just a very solid setup. You can also get rid of your boots like late game if you want for either another tank item. Uh, you have plenty of engage with your E range, so you definitely really don't need the movement speed as much. But you can also just switch the boots for either mercs or steel caps instead to be a bit more durable. It is just that ability haste, especially early on, is very, very crucial on Zac. It provides a lot of additional clear speed and more opportunities, really. So, yeah. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.